this is my teardrop that I built over winter. It's never been used. All the material's brand new. Uh, I built it specifically to sell. Um, something to do during winter. But it's an aluminium roof, and the sides are from Lamalux, which is the stuff that caravans are made with. Um, so that's coated over plywood, so it's all marine ply. As I said before, all the material is brand new, there's nothing second hand on it at all. Um, it's 1.6 metres wide, uh, 3.7 metres long, and weighs 420 kilograms, so can be towed by most cars, uh, I would say Fiesta size upwards. Um, it is rated to a maximum of 750 kilos. I'll show you, give you a bit of a tour if you like. These lock to keep it secure. Just lift it up. Just lock solid with a spring. Put it back down. I'll pop it down. Nice and tight seal, you can probably hear it. And here you've got room for pots and pans. Food. Just put a few cups and bowls and plates in there just to show you. This is the IVA certificate. And you've got a nice work surface here. So this area here would be for fridge. LP Cool G22 is what I recommend. The whole kitchen area was designed around that fridge and it will fit in there perfectly. And then you just slide it out <coughs> and then you open the top to get to your cold beers and your food. Um, underneath we've got two camping stoves. This is just for display, it doesn't come with the teardrop. If you just wanted one burner going, got plenty of food prep and um, space, and then you've got the other burner just pop, pop there on the top. You come and look down in here, there's, there's your leisure battery, and um, got plenty of ventilation holes. What I would do personally would connect a couple of solar connectors. You could wire the cable down underneath there and then you could plug in uh, solar if you wanted. This is the electric hookup. So basically, around the side here we've got a little door. You just open the door. Pop that through and then you just have a little plug it in on site. This is the battery charger. So then you just plug the battery charger into the socket. And then we've got two more sockets there. Plus there's USB sockets there also. And then you plug the charger on and the charger just keeps the battery charged is a plug and forget so you can just leave it on and it will just stop when it's uh, fully charged and it'll be a constant power supply um, is a fuse box this is the 12 volt socket for the fridge so the fridge that i recommend could run on uh, 240 volt or 12 volt personally i would just run it on the 12 volt all the time um, and then when you plugged into 240 volt it's charging up the battery which supplies the fridge so look up here we've got some little LED lights, switches there, I'm six feet tall so got standing room in here, no problem. And then we've got a drawer here, I'd probably put cutlery in to be quite honest, um, in a box you can get some food in there as well, and then you've got a shelf up the top here. Uh, for when you're cooking, just put your drinks, your bits and bobs, or whatever. So we've got a hurricane hinge here, or a snail hinge. 
which overlaps so the water basically runs down here and then off the side and this is nice and tight the seal there I spent a long time on this so it's a nice snug fit it survived about three or four hose pipe tests I've given it a real good go and absolutely no water's come through at all so I'm pretty pleased with that if it should any water perhaps when you're driving might get pushed down this bit here the idea is that it gets caught along this little track goes down the bottom and then you've got little drain holes there which go out into the bottom but it is an extremely snug fit which is quite nice got a double seal up there all right got an outside light switches in doors in the cab the frame is just about the only thing that i didn't do i got a local welders to fabricate it for me and i put the spec in the advert but it's a uh, three mil steel which has been coated with a couple of coats of hammerite um, this is the second teardrop that i've done to this design and if you look on youtube i've basically copied a bloke called batman oregon if you look that up on youtube have a look at his channel all the trailer parts are brand new decent wheels 750 kilogram suspension units on there there's the VIM plate corresponds with the IVA certificate and you've got running lights there on the side which come on with the side lights of the vehicle that's towing then you've got a vent there well as I said I'm six feet so plenty of room for me um, I would say that six foot three would be your limit comfortably depends if you sleep with straight legs or not okay so that's a vent to slide like so got lights up here light switch there and then we got this light switch here does the outside light which i've already showed you um and we got fly screen so vent opens like so fly screen it's got to stop any flies mozzie's getting in that keeps the light out just have that like so so the rain doesn't get in um, and then if we look underneath here we've got a little hatch here just the other side there is the electric hookup so if you wanted to plug something in um, 240 volt and have it up here then you just run it through and plug it in to the uh, hookup or you can run an extension lead in and plonk it up on the top here uh, this is an air vent which runs down to the floor and there's a little tunnel that runs under the fuse box down to the floor which is sucking up fresh air um, into the cabin and then it's helped along press this little switch here that comes on and probably can't hear that but a fan has come on there's a little very quiet computer fan just behind there which is blowing sucking air from underneath and blowing it in it's just to get a bit of airflow and a bit of fresh air um, then we've got a 12 volt socket there so if you wanted a 12 volt fan there then you could plug it in there two usb sockets for charging your phones or your laptops tablets ipads whatever um with a voltmeter as well which is very important so you can see what your leisure battery is doing this can switch off if you don't want to have the display whilst you're sleeping uh, cupboards put clothes in So, and behind in here you have little cubby holes which you can put whatever you like in, little bits and bobs, 
clothes, underwear, whatever. That's the outside light. Difficult to see in this light, but in the dark it's actually quite effective. And it's waterproof. There's the door. Got a little cubby hole there. Put bits and bobs in there, it's quite handy. Fire screen. Blind. Windows, uh, you can just have slightly open if you like, or fully open. 